Porsche is one of the most successful car companies in the world. They consistently release high-quality cars in a variety of markets. From sports cars to SUVs to hypercars, Porsche has done it all, and they've quickly become one of the most beloved car brands of all time. So with all of this success, the company must have a revolutionary headquarters. How else would they be able to make so many amazing vehicles? In this video, we'll explore Porsche's new revolutionary HQ based in Atlanta. We'll cover all the most interesting features from the racetrack to the restaurant. So let's take a look. Why Atlanta? You might be thinking why on earth Porsche has chosen to base themselves in Atlanta. They're a German company, so why would they not establish their HQ there? Well, there's a few reasons that Porsche decided to locate in Atlanta. Firstly, the CEO of Porsche stated that the move to Atlanta is part of an attempt to gain a better hold in the US car market. Porsche president Matthias Muller stated, we are investing more than ever before, heightening visibility for the Porsche brand in the US and worldwide. In 2021, for instance, Porsche sold 86,000 units in Europe and 95,000 units in China. Compare this to 84,000 units in America, which has a considerably bigger market than Europe, and you can understand why the company feels that they need a stronger foothold in the States. Another major factor in the decision to build in Atlanta is the fact that the company has a strong connection to the city and the entire state of Georgia. Porsche Cars North America, or PCNA, has called Georgia home since 1998. It seems that they want to honor their loyalty to the state by building in Atlanta. This HQ will provide 450 ongoing jobs in the area, which will help to improve the local economy and give opportunities to those looking for a new job. The precise location of the HQ in Atlanta is also highly tactical. It's built in the eyesight of the Hartsfield-Jackson Atlanta International Airport, which is one of the busiest airports in the world. This means that every day, thousands of people will be able to see the HQ as well as all the Porsche cars on the test track. The idea is that people will see the innovation of the company and want a Porsche as their next car. This location will provide so much free exposure for Porsche, and whoever thought of the idea deserves a raise. The location also allows around 80% of the US population to reach the HQ in under two and a half hours of flying time. Again, the idea is that higher accessibility will make the company more well-known and loved, increasing sales. Interestingly, over 70 different locations were considered before the move to Atlanta was confirmed. This suggests that Atlanta has some big geographical advantages for the company and should seriously help with their plans of taking over the US car market. But how big is this headquarters and how much did it cost to make? Porsche's new HQ in Atlanta is absolutely huge. The entire complex totals around 27 acres in area. This isn't the biggest HQ the car industry has ever seen, but the actual buildings and features are some of the most innovative and modern. The entire project has cost Porsche over $100 million. This might seem like a lot, but for Porsche, it's nothing more than a minor expense. In 2022, the company's operating profit grew from 1.26 billion to 1.47 billion euros. This equates to an increase of around $660,000, and because of the way that the HQ is designed, the company should recoup its expenditure in no time at all. One of the most exciting features about Porsche's new HQ is that it's being built specifically for enthusiasts and visitors. This means that Porsche fans in the US will be able to book a trip, commercial or personal, to the HQ and see how the company operates. This is a dream come true for all Porsche fans and will seriously increase the company's profile within the US. The complex features dozens of different and unique activities that are bound to draw tons of attention. In fact, the CEO has stated that around 30,000 guests will visit the HQ each year. Let's take a look at each of these features in a little more detail. 1.6 Mile Track The centerpiece of Porsche's new HQ in Atlanta is certainly the 1.6 mile test track. It circles the complex and has a variety of different surfaces. There's a one-mile handline circuit, an off-road circuit, a low-friction handling circuit, a wet, low-friction circle, and a kick plate. All of these surfaces are built to ensure that each Porsche vehicle can handle all kinds of conditions. They'll also make for an excellent driving experience. All visitors can book a driving experience on the test track. In the featured experience, you'll drive over the one-mile handline circuit in a Porsche 911 GT3. These cars will come equipped with 500 horsepower, allowing you to accelerate from 0 to 60 in 3.2 seconds and reach a top speed of 197 miles per hour. 
If you don't fancy driving yourself, you can always sit in the passenger seat and let a Porsche trained driver take you around in style. There are a variety of other driving experiences to choose from. For instance, young drivers can drive around on the track with a professional to teach them handy driving tips. Or if you don't want to drive a GT3, you could always choose a 718 Cayman S or perhaps a 911 Carrera 4S. All of these driving experiences look incredible and much more exciting than an average experience. However, they are extremely expensive. Prices start at around $400, with some experiences costing $1,000 or more. With prices like this, the company will make that $100 million back in no time. Heritage Gallery, the HQ building itself, also has some amazing features built for visitors. The most fascinating is Porsche's Heritage Gallery. This is essentially an art gallery full of old Porsche cars and memorabilia. There are two levels to the gallery, with dozens of different Porsche cars, from race cars to vintage spiders. Around the cars, you'll see lots of information boards, which will take you through the history of the company. The tour is self-guided, so you can spend as long as you want inspecting all of your favorite models through the years. Here are some of the most exciting cars you can expect to see. The 1955 Porsche 550 Spider, The 2013 Porsche 911 GT3 Cup. The 1999 Gunner Racing G99. Driving Simulator. If you've ever experienced a driving simulator before, then you'll know just how much fun they are. Simulators offer you all the fun of driving fast without the fear of damaging a very expensive supercar, and the driving simulator experience at Porsche's new HQ looks amazing. Porsche has stated that the simulator offers highly authentic physics and performance characteristics, showing that the experience will be highly immersive. The simulation is also incredibly customizable, as you'll be able to choose from several cars and racetracks. Some of the most exciting cars to use include the 918 Spider, the 911 GT3 RS, the 962C Long Short Tail 1985. There are also a variety of racetracks to try. These include the infamous Nürburgring, the Monaco Racetrack, the Red Bull Ring. These experiences also won't be cheap. Expect to pay at least $100 per person. Restaurants. The HQ will also come with a variety of restaurants and cafes to refuel you after your driving experience or simulation. Restaurant 365 is the main restaurant in the complex. It offers a fine dining experience and the menu changes seasonally. The highlight of this restaurant is the wine program as well as the classic cocktails on offer. There's also a cafe, fittingly called Carrera Cafe. It serves as a pit stop for your tour, offering hot and cold drinks as well as homemade snacks and desserts. The inclusion of this restaurant and cafe shows just how catered the HQ is to its visitors. The aim is to provide an unforgettable experience, with everything from the driving to the food being high-end. Ultimately, Porsche's new headquarters is breathtaking. It's one of the most well-placed car HQs in the world, and nearly everyone in the US will have relatively easy access to the complex. The building itself is beautiful and modern, and fits in with the airport. There's also a great test track to put new models through their paces. But the best thing about the new HQ is the focus on visitors. If you're lucky enough to visit this center, it'll be a once-in-a-lifetime experience. You'll be able to drive your favorite cars, experience the company's history, and finish the day off with fine dining. There's only one way to describe Porsche's new HQ. Revolutionary.